You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Fire Pink, Silene Virginica. Fire Pink is sometimes an upright and sometimes a sprawling plant which is not noticeable until it blooms during spring months. This plant is native to central and eastern portions of North America. The majority of fire pink's leaves are basal. Generally long and a bit narrow, the leaf shape could be described as oblanceolate to spatulate. The entire leaf margins exhibit fine hairs. Stems grow upwards from the center of the plant. This perennial fire pink has quite a few stalks rising from the mass of basal leaves. Shorter plants, say about six inches tall, bear flowers on upright stems. Taller plants, up to 24 inches tall, tend to have weaker and reclining flower stems. Leaves along the fire pink stems are arranged in an opposite pattern. The few pairs of leaves along the stem are spaced widely apart. Fire pink stem is covered with fine, sticky hairs. The downy stem is thin, almost wiry. It splits into several stems to spread the flowers apart from each other. Sticky stem hairs prevent crawling insects from reaching the flowers with their nectar. Fire pink needs flying pollinators to transfer pollen while they gather nectar from deeper within the flower. Members of the Silene genus have another common name, catchfly, which reflects the sticky insect-catching nature of the plant. Flower buds grow at the tips of lengthening stems. The sepals, which cover the developing flower, may be green, or they may be a deeper red or burgundy color. When ready, the flower petals push open the sepals of the calyx. Bright red petals appear. Notice how the tips of the red petals are notched as they emerge from the calyx. Again, the notched petal tips are visible as they lengthen and extend beyond the sticky calyx. The petals create a tube leading down into the calyx. The first flower blooms in mid-spring. More fire pink flowers bloom. Each flower is about one and a half inches across. The flower has five petals. Each petal is deeply cleft at its tip with smaller notches along the petal's margin. Flowers are widely spaced within an open inflorescence. Fire pink flowers grow from axils of the upper stem leaves. Look at the center of this fire pink flower. Its stamens are just becoming visible. The white anthers become more noticeable as the filament portion of the stamen lengthens. This flower shows stamens of varying lengths. One stamen is still further down the flower's tube. Each red petal has a lip which creates a crown around the center of the flower. In the very center of the flower is a moderately long tube which holds the nectar enjoyed by hummingbirds and flying insects. Newer and shorter stamens have smooth anthers. Older anthers are fuzzy with pollen. As the pollen ages, it becomes darker. You may find it spread on the surrounding petals. Pollen releases for about two days. Stigmas become receptive to pollen for about four days after pollen has been released. Here are pistils with white stigmas glistening at their tips. Eventually the pollen is dispersed and the filaments wilt and shrivel. Petal tips begin to curl up. Petals shrink and close around the pistils and stamens. Finally, the petals become brittle and brown. 
This fire pink plant has flowers in various stages of dying. The sticky calyx now encloses developing seeds. Sometimes that seed capsule is green. Sometimes it is red or burgundy. The sticky seed capsule continues capturing small insects and other plant fluff. Observe how the fire pink flowers face up while the dying flowers start to droop until the seed capsules are pointing down. This allows for easy release of seeds to the ground. When seeds mature, the seed capsules turn brown. Let's break one open. Fire pink seeds are small and black. They're now ready for dispersal to create more lovely, eye-catching, red flowering perennial plants. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Silene virginica, also known as fire pink. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of fire pink, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.